There are a lot of great reasons to live in Georgetown. It's beautiful architecture. It has hills and tree-lined streets. It sits on the bank of the Potomac River. There's also the CNO Canal, which is very historic and very cool to walk along the path of. It has great retail shops and wonderful neighbors who really create a sense of community. One of the hidden secrets of Georgetown, though, are its great restaurants. And today, I want to tell you about my favorite restaurants south of M. Restaurants south of M in Georgetown, that's what we're going to talk about today, and we're starting right now. I'm Sherri Ann Green with Coldwell Banker. Welcome to my YouTube channel that guides home sellers and home buyers in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia. In Georgetown, there is a main intersection called Wisconsin and M. Wisconsin runs north to south, M runs east to west. And there are different areas of the neighborhood. And today, I want to focus on south of M, specifically the restaurants. I think a lot of times, Georgetown gets overlooked for its great restaurants. It has a lot of neighborhood restaurants and a lot of places that are beautiful for a night out as well. But today, I want to talk about my favorite restaurants south of M Street, and that's just where they are. So Wisconsin and M, everything south of M Street is bordered by M at the north, the Potomac River at the south, and the CNO Canal, which runs right through the middle. So south of M, you'll find all kinds of restaurants, from something that is a place you'd want to go to for a beautiful night out to somewhere you just want to go with jeans and friends to grab a pizza. Focusing on a water view, there's nothing better on a Friday night than a great water view and a great margarita. And if you go to Guapo's, you can have both. They have everything that you think about in a Mexican restaurant. Fajitas and burritos and great chips and salsa. And you put that on the water with a great margarita. It's a really fun Friday night out. Also down at the water, if you need something that's a little bit more upscale, maybe you have an anniversary to celebrate or a birthday party and you want something that is a little more refined. One of my favorite restaurants and one of the best restaurants in Washington is Fio La Mare. Fio La Mare looks like a scene out of a movie based on the ocean. It is this beautiful shade of blue and white and it is elegant and exquisite. They focus on seafood, of course, and it is also right on the water. So there are tables inside that look out onto the river, and then there are tables outside on the boardwalk as well. So feel the body, very great for a special night out. If French is on your mind, Georgetown is your neighborhood. Bonjour. We have a lot of French restaurants, and specifically south of M, the best place for French is Chez Billy Sud. It is tucked into this darling one-story yellow row house, and it also takes over the patio that sits next door. It is a very sweet place to go for dinner. It is intimate and quiet and quaint, and the food is very authentic. Here's a little secret that everybody doesn't know. Shea Billy Sud also bought the row home to the right. So there's the little yellow row house, the patio in the center, and then they own the row house to the right and they've turned that into a bar. Now, when it first opened, you could only get drinks there while you wait for your table to be ready at Shea Billy Sud. Now you can order dinner there as well. It has a roaring fireplace in the winter and a great wooden warm feeling on the interior. So it's a nice complement to their menu and to the richness of French food. So if you want French in Georgetown, south of M, Chez Billy Sud is your spot. Speaking of fireplaces, the best place to get a drink, and frankly, you can sit there and have dinner, is the living room, as I call it. It's the lobby of the Ritz-Carlton, which is on South Street in Georgetown. South Street is a one block street and sitting right in the middle is the Ritz-Carlton. It has this beautiful lobby that looks like your stylish best friend's enormous living room. It is filled with couches and club chairs and low-lit lamps and coffee tables and this amazing huge fireplace. So go there after you've been to dinner somewhere else and have a cocktail or a coffee or dessert. Or if you just want dinner by the fire, you can get a great dinner there as well. 
It's casual, it's fun, it is comforting. It's a great way to end any night. And here's a little secret. Over in the corner to the left, usually, of the fireplace is their hidden candy bar. So as you're leaving for the night or maybe while you're sipping your cocktail, check out the candy bar and get a little treat to go along with your cocktail. If you are up for a little more of a culinary adventure, I want you to check out Reverie. It is run by a great young chef named Johnny Spiro. And the plates are inventive and interesting and they're smaller, so you're going to want to try several. He has this really unique way of putting together different flavors in a way that you haven't seen or thought of before but it is extremely approachable. So a lot of times when you think about a restaurant with this caliber of food, you think about it being very dressy. And at Reverie, it's just not. He built it in a way to make it very approachable for everyone who wants to try really amazing American-focused food, but with all of these really interesting, unique flavors and ingredients. Check out his menu. It is beautiful and it's a great place to meet friends. There is inside seating and outside seating. It is tucked off a one-way, one-block street called Grace, and it's tucked down an alley. So it's a little bit harder to find, but well worth looking for it. Sometimes you just need a pizza, and Georgetown has that too, and south of M, we have that as well. So check out um, Il Canile. It is on the CNO Canal, very authentic Italian pies, uh, a great little wine list. It's a great place to meet neighbors. It's very authentic. The staff is extremely friendly, so Il Canile for a pizza in or a takeout to go. If you're looking for a spot south of M for a big group, Pinstripes is your place. You may have heard of Pinstripes. It came out of uh, the Illinois area, and it is a bowling alley. They also have bocce at our location, and it also has really great food. It's very consistent pastas and pizzas and burgers. It's a great place to take a big group. They have a huge dining room, they have a huge bar, they have great outdoor space, and you can play bocce or pick up a bowling game you know, while you're there as well. The chef also has a little herb garden that they keep outside, so they do pick a lot of really fresh ingredients. So big group in Georgetown, south of them, you need to check out Pinstripes. If you are a vegetarian, south of them has that too. There is a darling little place called Chaya Taco. It is also on Grace, so where Reverie is. And it's in this cute little house, brick house, right on Grace Street. And it is full of vegetarian tacos. The people who started it used to sell their tacos at farmer's markets. And they were so popular that they wound up finding investors and created a couple of brick and mortar restaurants. It's really, really good. You may think vegetarian tacos, no way. It is delicious. I beg you to try it, even if you're not a vegetarian. And if you can get their breakfast enchiladas in the morning, they are magnificent. So try a taco on Gray Street, south of them for vegetarian tacos. Part restaurant and part bakery, also on Gray Street, is Dog Tag Bakery. And Dog Tag Bakery has everything from cakes and banana pudding and brownies and cookies. They also have a really good little lunch menu. And on the weekends, they have biscuits that are really amazing too. What's special about Dog Tag, besides their food, which is terrific, is their mission. Dog Tag does not refer to your puppy. It refers to military dog tags. And they have an entire fellowship upstairs above the bakery that helps military veterans learn about opening, maintaining, and sustaining a business. So you can enjoy a great treat from the bakery and support an amazing mission all at the same time. That's Dog Tag Bakery. My last suggestion for South of M is a newer place by a name you know, and that is Cut by Wolfgang Puck. So Wolfgang opened this amazing restaurant inside the Rosewood Hotel. It is beautiful, exquisite. There is a gorgeous bar and a beautiful dining room and the food is to die for. I would put this on the same caliber as Fior Gamade, which we talked about at the beginning. I don't even love chocolate that much and their chocolate souffle is beyond. 
So if you need a great night out, check out Cut by Wolfgang Puck inside the Rosewood Hotel. It sits right on the CNO Canal, so it's got a cool view as well. I hope you have enjoyed hearing uh, what I think are the 10 best restaurants south of M Street. It's a beautiful little neighborhood. It sits right on the Potomac River. The CNO Canal is there, so it has a lot of history and a lot of really interesting architecture, and then all of these really great restaurants. It's very walkable as well. So check out all the restaurants. Tell me if you've been to any of them in the comments. I'd love to know what you think, or if you have another one that is your favorite as well. There are more. This is just 10 of the numerous restaurants that we have in the south of M in Georgetown. I have an entire playlist dedicated to living in Washington, D.C., and I focus a lot of my videos on Georgetown proper. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode on Washington or Georgetown.